Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial. Thank you for clicking on this video. In this video, we are going to be doing something with QR codes. More specifically, we are going to be taking a look at how to generate QR codes based on a piece of string or a URL or any type of uh, text. So that's what we are going to be taking a look at in this video right now. So let's go ahead and create a new Xcode project so that we can begin. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a new Xcode project and I am going to make this a single view application. Click on next and then I am going to name this QR uh, generate. Going to click on next here and then just save this on my desktop. You can of course save it wherever you want to. And the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to head over to our storyboard because this is where we are going to start to lay out our app and it's going to have a very very simple layout all we are going to need is first off a text field so that our user can input a piece of text that the user wants to convert to a qr code and then we are going to have a button that's going to trigger the conversion action and then we are going to also have an image view that is going to display our qr code so I'm just going to drag this to approximately a square, just like that. And that will do for now. I'm just going to set my simulator to iPhone 7. And now we can bring up our split view so that we can start connecting some elements here. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to drag in our beloved text field. So I'm just going to drag that in my text field. Um, field, there we go. And that's going to be an outlet. And my image view is also going to be an outlet, my image view and connect that up. And then we're going to have one action that's going to trigger the whole thing. And that is going to be our button of type action. So let's connect that up also. And now we are pretty much done with our storyboard. So we can now head over to our view controller and just focus on that. Now what we want to do is we want to take the text that the user has inputted and then when the user presses the button, we take that text from the text field and convert it to a QR code and display that in our image view. So that is how we do that. So let's take a look at it. First of all, I am going to check if I can get something from my text field and convert it to a basic string constant or store it in my string constant. So I'm going to try to set my string equal to my text field dot text. And if there is success with that, then I'm going to start generating my QR code. The way I do that is first of all, create a constant named data and I'm going to uh, fill my data constant with my string dot data. And the one I'm going to use is this one. And the encoding that we're going to be using is ASCII and allow lossy convers conversion, I'm going to set that to false for now. And then we are also going to apply a filter. And as we'll see, this is the filter that's actually going to make it a QR code. Now by changing the filter, you can change the output. So you can also generate a barcode if you want to do that. But for now, we are just going to go with a QR code filter. And the way we do that is we say CI filter, and the filter that we're going to be using is the one named CIQR code generator. Just make sure that you spell that correctly, generator. And by changing this name here, you can switch between a QR code or a barcode code, whatever you want. And I don't remember the barcode uh, filter right now, but you can just search that up on Google and you will find it. Then we're also going to set the value. So filter dot set value and the value that we want is the data. And I'm just going to name the key input just like that. And now we can create our image. So let image is equal to UI image. And we are going to make that UI image of a CI image. And let's see CI image. And then we are going to take that data from our, let's see, CI image. Um, we're going to take it from filter. 
uh, dot, let's see what we want here, output image. So we're basically accessing this filter constant right here. So here we said what type of filter we wanted. We wanted the QR code. We set the value, which is data, which is this one right here. It's basically our text uh, encoded with ACII encoding. And then we get the output image from our filter constant. Now we probably need to force and wrap something. So let's add that in. And then we can simply set my image view uh, dot image is equal to IMG. So our image constant. So let's quickly go through what we did here. We took the string or the value from our text field. We then uh, create a data constant and we fill that with that string that we got from our text field. The only thing we changed is we converted it to data using SCII encoding. We then created a filter which basically states we want a QR code. And then we set the value of that QR code to be, to be equal to data and we saved it for the key input. And then we created an image simply by um, based on the, the output image of our filter constant. And then we set that equal to be the image of our image view. So hopefully that was all clear. If not, then make sure to just ask me in the comment section below. And now we will try to launch our application and see how this is working. And if we are actually able to uh, create a QR code, which we are hopefully going to be able to do. So here is our application and I'm just going to input the Swift guy. Got, not got, but guy. Okay, I got out auto correct there, but I just need to correct that. Let's see, uh, the Swift guy button and then we should have our QR code. So here we have a little problem. Let's see what the problem is. So the thing that was causing the problem was this. I wrote input, but we are going to, um, instead of input message. So that is going to fix the error. Uh, we need to save it for the key input message instead of input. Now that is going to solve the whole problem. And we're now going to be able to generate a QR code. And let's just make sure that that is the case. Here we go. I'm going to type in the Swift guy, which is probably going to become the Swift gut. No, not that. No, not this time. Let's click the button. And here we go. And I can now change it around. I can say hello. And as you see, the QR code changes in order to reflect that HTTP and so on and so forth. So that is how you create a QR code generator. So in this video, we took a look at how to generate it. And in the next video, you can probably guess what we are going to be doing there. So make sure to click the subscribe button if you want to stay tuned for that video or all of the other videos that I'm going to be putting out. Other than that, thank you for watching.